So that's actually an, an, an interesting approach as, as well. And, and I think that is a different patient population than uh, what I talked about with the first study. So the first study refers to patients um, you know, who are candidates to have esophagectomy following chemotherapy and radiation. Uh, this other study, which is being run through the NRG Cooperative Group as a limited study, uh, is really for patients who are not candidates for surgery. So essentially patients, because specifically of medical comorbidities, um, um, you know, either you know, heart or lung conditions or or something of, of, of the like, um, who we think are able to receive chemotherapy and radiation uh, as definitive therapy, but we, who we don't think are good candidates for surgery. So, so we know that, uh, again, in this patient population, um, chemo radiation is considered the standard of care, uh, but unfortunately, the, you know, the, 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 the results are wanting. So the um, RTOG group, which was the legacy group of, of the NRG, uh, connect, conducted the 0436 study, um, you know, almost a decade ago. And in that study, um, they looked at a similar population. They treated patients with cisplatin, paclitaxel, and radiation. At the time, the experimental strategy was to add cetuximab, the anti-EGFR antibody. So cetuximab was not successful, uh, but that study at least established that in patients who undergo you know, cisplatin, paclitaxel, and radiation, and who do not subsequently have surgery, um, the complete response rate locally in the primary tumor is about 50%. And there is about a 50% risk uh, recurrence at two years. So again, you know, this is a, this is a population in desperate need of, um, of uh, improved therapy. So in our particular study, you know, we're building on, on, on that historical control um, by treating patients with standard carboplatin, paclitaxel, and radiation. And the experimental treatment we're adding is telomelicin or OBP301. So this is an interesting uh, drug. It's actually a modified virus uh, that expresses the promoter for telomerase. Essentially, what that means is that while well, telomerase you know, maintains the ends of the lengths um, uh, of telomeres, which are the ends of the chromosomes, and, and it prevents um, essentially uh, cell death. Um, so telomerase is expressed only in cancer cells and not in normal cells. So that specificity um, really allows us to target the tumor cells. So essentially, if you inject um, um, uh, OBP301 or telomelicin uh, into a tumor, uh, the, the virus replicates only within the tumor cells. And in, in the course of replicating, uh, it elices and kills the tumor cells. Uh, in addition to, to just merely killing the tumor cells, uh, we think that, um, that uh, its mechanism meshes very well with radiation. And finally, you know, um, causing cell death with the virus can also be very immunogenic, and we think it may also have uh, immune-enhancing properties. So, really, this is this is a um, this is a phase one B study that is demonstrated to to test doses of OBP three hundred one with carboplatin, paclitaxel, and radiation um, in this patient or population in this you know patient uh, population people who can have chemo radiation but who are not able to have surgery. Um, I would quickly add that it does build on, on data from Japan uh, in which patients um, uh, who were thought not to be a candidate for surgery, but also thought not to be a candidate for even chemotherapy and radiation, were treated with radiation alone with the addition of OBP301. So they had um, three endoscopies during radiation uh, where the primary tumor was injected with, with this virus. Uh, and the results were were encouraging. Overall, it was a it was a safe procedure, uh, and and the um, complete response rate in in the um, esophagus was higher than one, what one would expect with radiation alone. So so again, at this point, you know, we're adding chemotherapy to the mix. Uh, and again, the, the, this is a study that's really designed to establish that the approach is safe. Uh, but an important secondary endpoint that we're looking at, of course, is the uh, clinical complete response rate. Um, so the, the, the rate of endoscopic clearance of gross disease following chemoradiation and the uh, OBP301 injections.